I think we can all collectively agree that, you know, nobody likes water levels. Nobody ever has liked them. But, you know, you can't avoid them. The cloud that I have uh, in my inventory that I think I got last time, uh, if you use that you can skip a level, but if you die on the next level you go back, so... It's a case of, you can skip this level, but if you die, you can't skip it, and wah, you know. It's kind of weird. But anyway, a fire flower. <laughs> we haven't had one of those very often so far. Um, up here, there's an item block that has an item in it, but I don't need one because I already have a fire flower. I always like to try and stay at the top in these levels. Ha 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 ha! Die! Oh, whoops, okay, no, can't go down there. Um, hang on a minute. Bomb it! Nope, never mind. He's invincible. God damn it. Alright, so down here, there's a few things. Someone's gonna get hit by him. There is a bunch of coins and a one up, which will probably always go the opposite way you were trying to head. Alright, anyway, then just get all the coins and leave. We don't have to worry about the blooper because I've already killed him. Of course, the other one dodged all my fireballs like a pro. I'm trying to get all mushrooms and that actually worked? Hmm. And Luigi gets sucked into the same thing again. This is like, what, the second time this happened now? I think the reason I never remembered all this is because I have a terrible memory. That would explain a lot actually, to be honest, like it really would. I didn't click that, I pressed right and it was like, NOPE! Does that happen to me all the time or what? You press the fucking button and the game is like, you didn't press anything. And then you fail because of it. The amount of times that... How did you not get that? The amount of times I've pressed jump, only to be not jumping, is astounding. It's... Also, the number is too damn high, just so you would know. And of course I lost my leaf, why wouldn't I? Me not losing it would make no sense. Wow. That surprisingly didn't go as badly as I expected. Can I get up there please? I've lost it. It's already gone. Get up there! I thought, oh it'll be fun to play this game. No it won't. It really will not. I can see that now. It's just going to go as terribly as possible. Hey look, a frog suit. So, yeah, looks like I'm having a terrible time. Oh, God. Just who I really wanted to see at this point in time. This stupid asshole. I asked him to grab it, and he didn't. Well, that allows me to quickly grab this. And be on my merry way. Okay, great. I tried to kill it, and immediately it decided to bounce. Not very really all that surprising, honestly. But you try to kill the fish, and you can't kill the fish! I shot fire at her! And she was just like, I'm not gonna fucking die, why should I? I eat fire for breakfast. Yeah, fantastic, thanks for that. And I missed, fantastic. Yep, I can see this is going to be a fantastic episode, isn't it just? Fuck off. Get the thing and just leave as fast as you can before it comes back and eats you, even when you firebomb it! Of course, my first death would be to some bullshit fish. Can't say that surprises me. Alright, level... Oh, next level, the fortress thing. With more of these weird fire things. Is this the one with the doors? It is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Door six is the one you want. I can't believe I remember that, of all things. But I'm glad I do, so that I'm not on this level forever. Because that would suck, wouldn't it? 
Boom boom is literally the easiest boss ever, and we move on. Soon World 4, you see those um like bridge things, those close when you beat a level. I think if you die they don't close. I don't remember. Maybe that's how it works, who knows. I'm keeping the fire flower for now. I don't know why I want to, I just do. I'm just going to run because, you know, because that. I got hit twice. He's... I was sliding! I was sliding! He's supposed to die when you hit him while sliding. Apparently not. Now you cannot make this shit up. You really can't. What the hell? Oh, I guess they've evolved to become invincible to sliding, I guess. They don't care. And this fire flower probably won't help me at all. As I jump, I fall right into a really, really small area. You just couldn't make it up. You really could not. Th there's no way. Do I even... I got hit immediately. I got hit literally instantly. As soon as I start the level. My god, why do I even bother playing these games if I'm just going to be this bad at it? I can't even make that jump anymore. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. So yeah, anyway. Grab the leaf. Move on. World 5, or level 5 rather. Would have been nice to know this was a swimming level. Oh, it doesn't matter I'm dead. Great. Cool. Whatever. Who really cares? Not like it matters now, because I'm fucking dead. So we also have... Um, these jellyfish things as well that aren't bloopers, they just stay in place. And yes, you may have guessed, they're, da they're dangerous. I pressed the button to swim slash jump and he didn't do it. It would be really nice if they would actually do what I asked them to do. Like, it would be really, really cool if the game actually fucking controlled when I asked it to. Who asked for input lag? Nobody. And at this point it's not even input lag, it's just nothing. You press the button and he doesn't do anything. Which results in death all the time. It results in either getting hit or being killed. There's a one up there, huh? I don't think I ever found that one before. Alright, anyway. So, you can see there's another bridge there. Uh, you can actually skip the um, <laughs> the level, which is pretty cool. So, you know, if you want to skip the level, you can. Hit him. Hit him! And we get a star. And I'm going to use my hammer there, because there's this uh, boat here. And you can come over here, which is pretty cool. What do I get? I get a leaf. Oh, better than a regular mushroom, I suppose. Oh, fuck you. And I got another leaf. I don't know why I can't just... I don't know why this isn't just a big square. You can't walk up between those two for whatever reason. Not entirely sure why, but you can't. I don't know why. It's like, why can't I just not have voice breaks every episode? I'm, tw I'm like 22 now. I shouldn't be having voice breaks. You would think I was done with puberty by now. Apparently my body does not think so. Oh god, it's another fucking auto-scroller, everyone's favourite. And for some reason they give you a fire flower here instead of a leaf, I'm not entirely sure why. By the way, if you're still standing on that thing, when it spins, you're basically screwed. You can use the, um, the shell to hit that block there and you get a bunch of coins out of it, but oh well. I 
could have sworn there was a one-up down there. Maybe I'm thinking about later in the level, potentially? That's probably okay. That's probably the case. I would imagine that is probably what's going on here. What the hell? <laughs> what? He didn't even hit the block, he just died immediately. He was like, no, I'm not gonna, not gonna bother with this anymore, man. I can't. And it goes the wrong way, of course it does. What a surprise. Wow, I am so shocked by this revelation that it was going to go the other way. It's not like that's ever happened before. And I don't get the star. I didn't want the star anyway, you know. So, by the way, I haven't actually played the um, that castle that's coming up that much, because I always skip it every time. But I'm trying to do every level in this playthrough, so I'm going to have to play it. I don't remember what the castle is like. Uh, because it's been so long since I last played it. Because like I said, I always skip every single time. I like how I don't even bother going for most of the secrets. I'm just like, yeah, you know, just get through the levels, you know. That's what I'm aiming for here. Uh, anyway. Oh, it's an underwater castle. I mean, I guess that makes sense. This isn't exactly a common thing. I don't think this has ever happened on any other game, has it? Except maybe Mario World, maybe. What's funny is that um, I've I wanted to play Mario World for years when I was a kid, and when I finally did, it was because of the um, the Game Boy Advance version that I found once. I just went out to the shop, and it was like a market, and there was this guy um, who sells games, and he had it, and I was like, oh my god, you have everything! Like this guy just had like the most shocking games. Like, I had a Mega Drive when I was younger, and he had Sonic One. I was like, oh my god, you you are the best. <laughs> Unfortunately, he isn't. He hasn't had that market anymore, I think he retired, but the guy was awesome, so he got me Sonic 1. Okay, I accidentally saved, let's hope this isn't a failed recording. Um, so yeah, he had that, uh, and he also had you know, Mario World GB. Oh, come on, why you again? Can't you leave me alone, stupid fish? How did that not kill him? How is he still alive? I jumped! I pressed the jump button! But Mario was like, no, I want to die! I got hurt by a block! I hit the stupid block in mid-air! Come on! And I died again! Fuck this game! Fuck this entire shit. Thanks for the unmakeable jump. I really appreciate that, except I don't. And I don't even hit him. These levels are trash. Just straight up trash. This one especially sucks. I'd like to be able to see where I'm going, that would be very nice. I was like 100% certain there was going to be an enemy there. Like, I, I felt like it was going to happen. Oh, I get past that. much point using a power up here. Oh wait, I think I know which one this one is. This is the one with the extra life trick that I can maybe show off if I don't fail it. Alright, quickly come over here. And nope, I failed it. You know what? No, I'm gonna die on purpose, because I am I am I need to show this. I am I refuse. I don't care if I get a game over trying to show this. I will fucking show it. I do not care. So you have to carry this thing over here. Throw it in there, and then quickly jump up here. Right. Don't get killed by this thing. And, um... You can, you can see how this is gonna go. Um, it will just keep hitting all these bullets. And you will get constant one-ups, which is really cool. Um... I... <laughs> I can't believe this is a thing. Um... I remember I actually left it like this, uh, for a while. Um, at one point to get like 999 lives and stuff. 
Eventually you just walk away and um, you get Bravo Luigi! If you're playing as Mario, it's Bravo Mario, as you may have guessed. What I usually do is uh, I normally just let it keep killing the uh, the bullets for like like until I have a hundred seconds left and I just dash to the end. But yeah, you can you can get a ton of lives from it, which is pretty cool. Yeah, Mario's is Bravo Mario. I don't get to hear Bravo Luigi very much, but there it is. None of these items would help. The king has been transformed into uh, whatever that is. I think that's actually from Mario World. I think it might be actually. Um, but yeah, this level is annoying. I died on this level a lot when I last played this game. And that's not fun because uh, when you die on an airship level, it's a bit cool, we'll say. Um, I'd like that, that'd be nice. I'm gonna lose it immediately, but I got it, you know. Um, when you die on an airship level, the airship flies away onto a different part of the map and you have to follow it around. And yes, that can be very annoying. I also refuse to do that jumping thing, I'm not gonna do that. Wow, that almost hit me actually. Jump over it. Okay, there we go. There you go. See, I told you there was an item at the end sometimes. Don't kill me, please, Wendy. Good. Yeah. First try, Fred. I don't know what. I don't know what he first try, Fred is. I'm not Fred, but there you go. Anyway, and he looks like Mario. So I don't know what's going on there, but you know they're all clones because they all say the same thing. Greetings, you can stomp on your enemies using Goomba Shoe that only appears in one level. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you, and it's a music box thing. Which, by the way, puts all of the, um, the hammer bros and stuff to sleep, so that's pretty useful. Anyway, that world was really annoying. 